Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Unify Talk Update 1.18.2. This adds quite a few new features, which are really nice, but there is one warning. If you're using a third-party SIP provider, it does break your auto attendant. Ubiquity is supposed to come out with a patch for this. If you're using Unify SIP, VoIP MS, or Twilio, it works fine. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find me on Twitter, at MacTelecomN. And if you'd like to support the channel, we do have affiliate links in the description below. The first new update in 1.18.2 is the ability to send SMS from Unify Talk with one of the Unify Talk numbers. We can see that it's showing in early access, but this is a part of the general release. And to enable SMS, we need to go to our settings wheel, and then we need to go over to our numbers and subscriptions. Here we can see my phone numbers. These are just test numbers if you do see them come across in this video. And then we could see SMS right here. So we want to check off the SMS, and this gives us 50 SMS messages per month. So having two different numbers, I have a total of 100 SMS messages that I could send and receive. If we go over a limit of our 50 SMS messages, it will incur a cost. So we could see the international rates and we could select our country. I'll just put it in Canada. We could see that our local outbound SMS will cost us 0.01 cents per SMS message. And when we receive the SMS, it will cost us 0.095 cents per message for Canada and the United States. As of right now, we can't send the SMS messages directly from our touch phones. We could only do it from the Unify Talk dashboard. On the left-hand side, we could see right here, this is our SMS and we could send a new SMS. I already have myself a part of the global contact, which is Cody, and then we could select which SIP trunk we want it to come from. I have two different SIP trunks, so I'll just select the first one and then we'll type hello, and then we'll see if that goes to my phone. And as you can see, the hello message went out to my phone number. So now we can message it back and we could look at our messages. We can see that I have a message count of six and I was doing some testing, that's why we have so many, but on the left-hand side, we could see we have one new message. So if we click on that, we'll be able to see the SMS. At the top, it shows us who we're sending it from and to, and then we can see our message. Hello YouTube, G4 Doorbell Pro giveaway this Sunday, October 30th, during live stream. Stream starts at 11 a.m. EST, which I actually am doing a giveaway for G4 Doorbell Pro. Now, one last thing about the SMS, we could have it notify us either by Microsoft Teams, Slack, or we could send an email with this. Once we get the SMS message, it will relay it to one of these three options within 15 minutes. The next addition to this update is ring flow. So if a user is calling into our Unify Talk number and we don't pick up, it will direct it to our cell phone. So we could set up a rule. We'll set up a rule using this Mac Telecom test account, and then we'll go over to manage. We need to go to manage at the bottom and select this drop down menu. And here at the bottom, we could see ring flow. Customize the ring sequence for incoming and transfer calls to Mac Telecom test. We have none selected, so let's add the ring flow. We need to add a ring flow name. I'll call it call cell. The ring sequence, first it will try calling our Mac Telecom test phone, and that will be for 30 seconds. We could additionally change the number of rings. I'm going to set mine to 10 seconds or two rings. After the two rings, we could select where it goes. If we click on the drop down menu, we could say to go to my Cody McCallum user, which is another extension, or we could check from our global contacts. This Cody user is just my cell phone number. You could also add additional steps if you'd like. We're going to leave it as is and then press save. Now that we've created the ring flow, we need to assign it. Currently it says none, but if we go down, we could see the call cell and then we'll press save and this should work. To test this out, I'm going to use the Cody McCallum phone to ring my Mac Telecom test phone. After two rings, it should ring my cell phone. So we could hear that ringing and when it hits one more ring, it should ring the cell phone. And now we can see my cell phone going off after two unanswered rings. Another great new feature is the failover redirect number. So if our Unify console goes offline or loses internet and we can't reach our talk number, it will fail over to the cell phone number or number that we provide. So if we go back to our Unify talk and then go into settings, we can see here that we have call settings and then we have the failover redirect number. So here we could put in our cell phone number or maybe a landline. So if our Unify console goes down, we'll still be able to receive phone calls, which is a really great update. Next is the ability to do intercom between the phones. And this is only available on these little touch phones. We could press intercom and then it will intercom the person that we've selected. 
I'll do it, but we will hear a bit of feedback. So now you can hear me talking and we'll hear a bit of that feedback going through. And the last improvement of this update is the ability to give our smart attendant an extension. So we'll create a smart attendant. I'll call it test. On step two, this is where we would give them an extension. I'll give them extension 1000. And like it says in the notes, this allows us to transfer calls to smart attendants, including from within our smart attendants. So that's it for this video on Unify Talk application 1.18.2. I really liked some of the new features that they brought. I'm not too sure why you would use the SMS and hopefully they push that to the actual phones eventually. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.